Hi, this is Bruce again. I'd like to walk you very quickly through the Long Haul Partner uh, tutorial, uh, VT5 tutorial on the axle weight calculator. Uh, now, you, uh, you older folks have been around a while, more experienced folks, are probably not going to be in too, too intrigued by this. Uh, you know how to do all of this. Uh, Except maybe some heavy, heavy haul people uh, toward the end of this video will get into how the calculator will uh, give you average axle weights for uh, multiple trailer axles and pusher axles and so forth. Um, basically, what I want to start out here with you younger folks, you may sometimes get in a situation where uh, you're, you're maybe in a rural area picking up a hay load or something, gosh knows. And uh, the only scale available is a single deck scale. And, uh, you know, you're used to cap scales, I suppose, the more modern scales that are in three sections to get your steers, your drives, and your trailer tandems. Bang, 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 automatically, all in one shot. Well, when you got a single deck, that ain't the way it works. So, uh, I mean, there's nothing here that anybody can't figure out, but I'll, I'll tell you how to do it real quick. Uh, so again, let's assume uh, we're confronted with a single deck, full length scale, and we want to see if we're legal, alright? What do we do? How do you get your separate steer axle, drive axles, and trailer axle weights? Well, the first thing you do is drive up to the scale and put your steer axle on that scale, alright? Get out and look if you have to. But anyway, get out and put your steers on the scale. And let's assume that uh, we've done that and we're looking at, I don't know, 11.9, all right? That's okay. We got a 12,000 pound rated front axle. We're good. Now, uh, I want you to drive the whole entire tractor up on there, okay? With your steer, drive axles, and pusher axles if you have any. So now you got the whole tractor on there. We're going to get our gross vehicle weight for that tractor, okay? And uh, make sure you don't have his trailer tandems on there, just the tractor. Let's assume that we did that. And let's assume that scale is telling us we're at uh, 44.7, all right? And uh, now, last step, let's drive that entire tractor and trailer. So all of your axles, your steer axle, your drive axles, your pusher axle if you got any, uh, your trailer tandems are all the trailer axles if you got a whole bunch of them. And let's uh, see what that gross vehicle weight looks like under load. And let's say that we're in there at about 78.4. Well, that's good. Uh, looks like we're legal, eh? And um, now let's come down here. We'll see these green boxes here. And uh, these are going to auto calculate when we hit the compute button, okay? And uh, it's mad at me now. See that error? Uh, one or more required fields are missing. It, it wants me to answer these questions here. If you have a tractor pusher axle, okay, uh, check if you're running a lower pusher axle. Well, I'm not, so I don't put anything in there. Down here, uh, enter the number of trailer axles. Now, obviously, if you're just running normal, conventional trailer tandems, you're going to have two. Aren't you? So let's put two in there. Uh, you'd put more in there if you had a bunch of them, but now let's just keep it simple. And now let's compute that. Well, looky there. Uh, I just figured out that our drive axle weight's 32.8. That's okay. We're allowed uh, 34,000 there, and so we're good. Uh, 17,000 per axle. We're at 16.4 on average. And let me make a comment here. This calculator will only calculate the average weight per axle, okay? Uh, given differences in tire inflation rates, uh, axle mounting geometry, tire dimensions, uh, you know, short of a per axle on the truck weight system or separate scales, there's no way to calculate the specific exact weight of each axle. The closest we can do is get you an average. So I caution you uh, in the in the uh, 
footnotes of this calculator down at the bottom. See, this is highlighted in yellow. Uh, it says, in the case of tandems, a pusher axle or multiple trail axles, the computed weight per axle is an average due to variance in wheel tire dimensions, axle mounting geometry, uh, variation in individual tire inflation. Short of a per axle weight monitoring system, there is no way to calculate the actual true weight of each axle. Please bear this in mind and be careful of pushing the weight limit if anticipating DOT checking each individual axle. This calculator is not intended to be used carelessly, which could get you in trouble at a DOT or other scale. We have to use our heads and ask some common sense, don't we? Well, anyway, um, so it tells us our average weight per axle is 16.4. Notice that. Uh, this is a different calculation than above here. This was just for individual drive axles, too. Um, although you may be in a 6x2 configuration instead of a 6x4, but it will still weigh the same. Here, calculated weight for drives and pusher. If you do have a pusher on your tractor, which you don't here, so it's saying 16 and 4 for axle, let's check that box. Let's say we do have a pusher. Bang. Let's hit the compute button. Boom, notice what just happened? With that pusher, we're down to 10,933 pounds, average weight per axle. Again, this 10,933, this is an average weight per axle. Don't push this too far, please. Now, you heavy haul guys, let's assume that uh, you're running uh, three axles, all right, on that trailer. Let's plug in three, see what happens. Uh, right now, we're at 16,850. Average weight per axle with just the, the tandem. Bump the orange compute button. Bang. Those three trailer axles are at 11,233 apiece. Let's say we had five of them. We had five axles back there. We're down to 6740 with average weight per axle. That's how that works. All you got to do is put in whatever you want. If you want to save it, go down here and give it a name. Uh. I don't know, today's uh, March 17th I'm doing this. I'm going to save it as 03 17 14. How's that? Save. Bang. Now, if we go back to the menu, oh, look at here, axle weight. I save that calculator, 03 17 14, in my personal database. Let's read Bruce Polinsky. Since I got eight days remaining before I resubscribe. Uh, I want you to remember these calculators, your database is saved for 90 days even if you don't resubscribe, or if you just forget this to resubscribe. Um, so let's go over that. Bang. There we are. Right back there again. Uh, go back to here, and again, you can look at any calculator you may have saved. Uh, here's a uh, fuel efficiency one we did in the DT4 video. Uh, yeah, whatever. Anyway, uh, that's how that works. I hope you, you help you understand how to use the Axelweight calculator. It's pretty easy. And um, this is Bruce signing off. Have a great day.